Star Wars Return of the Jedi, the six, and what was the final chapter of the Star Wars saga. The movie was released in 1983. The story starts out, we have Han Solo, he was frozen in carbonite, he's being held captive at Jabba's palace. Princess Leia comes to the palace disguised as a bounty hunter, who brings in Chewbacca. She wants to trade in Chewbacca for Han Solo. Jabba the Hutt disagrees. Then we see a hologram of Luke Skywalker offering to give up R2-D2 and C-3PO for Han Solo. Jabba the Hutt refuses that bargain. So then Leia disguised as the bounty hunter snoops around and discovers Han Solo and frees him. Unknowing that Jabba the Hutt has been watching her the whole time. So then she becomes captive at Jabba's palace. This, this leads to Luke coming down to Jabba's palace. He has no choice but to use his lightsaber, take out Jabba's minions, and rescue his crew. And while that's happening, it is Leia that kills Jabba the Hutt. She grabs a chain and strangles him. It's a scene that still gives me nightmares. So after Luke saves his crew at Jabba's palace, Luke goes to the forest where he meets Yoda. And Yoda confirms to him the truth that Darth Vader is Luke's father. Yoda also tells Luke that there's another person in the family, but before he could say who it was, he dies. Luke is just left with an emotionless face. So he goes back to his spaceship and he sees a force ghost of Obi-Wan. He, he complains to Obi-Wan on why he didn't tell him the truth. But Obi-Wan told Luke that he did. He told Luke that Darth Vader killing his father was the truth, but it was in a different point of view. Anakin Skywalker is Luke's father. And once he was turned by the Emperor and became Darth Vader, Anakin was destroyed. Obi-Wan also tells Luke that he has a sister, and Luke figures out that it is Leia. So Luke has no choice but to face Darth Vader alone. He takes Luke, Han Solo, and the rest of the crew. They go to planet Endor, where Luke turns himself in to Darth Vader. They go and meet the Emperor, and the Emperor wants to turn Luke to the dark side, but Luke refuses. Him and Vader, they face off, but something is different this time. Vader has conflict, he doesn't want to fight his son or kill him. So they do a lightsaber battle for about a few minutes. Luke gets the best of him by chopping off his arm. So then the Emperor steps in and starts electrocuting Luke Skywalker. And Vader's just laying down, seeing the carnage that is happening. And once he sees that Luke is being killed, he has a dilemma. He can let Luke be killed or can stop the Emperor. That's what he does. Since he is Luke's father, doesn't see his son get destroyed. Once he sees that Luke has the power of the Force within him, he grabs the Emperor and throws him off the Death Star. And the Emperor is dead, supposedly, until the Rise of Skywalker, which we will get to. I haven't seen that movie, but we'll get to that. So Luke carries Darth Vader, who's been badly damaged, out into the loading bay. He lays Darth Vader onto the ground. Luke takes off Darth Vader's mask and sees Anakin's face, and Vader dies. So that pretty much concludes the Skywalker saga. Meanwhile, Han Solo and Leia, they're down on Endor, and they're able to blow up the new Death Star. So we get the ending of the movie, we have a giant party scene. We get to see the Force Ghost of Yoda, Obi-Wan Anakin. 
staying in the forest while they're look while they're standing across looking at Luke. That's pretty much how the movie ends. Thoughts in the movie? I think it's a satisfying conclusion to the original trilogy. I give it an eight out of ten. My favorite is still the original Star Wars movie. What I like about the film, I'll, the film has a little bit more action in the movie than the others. And you also get the uh, mystery unraveling here that Darth Vader is Luke's father and Luke does have, does have a sister named Leah. That's pretty much it. What is this movie set up? It's set up the prequels. That's what's next. So, the seeds were planted for the prequels during the original trilogy. You just knew a prequel trilogy had to come. Because George Lucas was developing the prequel trilogy when he was making the originals. So, I've already reviewed the prequels. I've reviewed the original trilogy. I've reviewed the anthology films. Rogue One Solo. I've seen Clone Wars. I've seen Rebels. Then, we're gonna, then I'm going to watch Mandalorian, the book of Boba Fett. Does it make any sense? Because Boba Fett takes place after Re Return of the Jedi. I thought Boba Fett dies in Return of the Jedi. So how is he still alive? I don't know. So then after that, we get to the sequel trilogy. And boy, we will have fun reviewing that one. The Force Awakens should be easy. But the other two, from what I've heard, oh boy. But we'll get to those. Return of the Jedi... I think it's good. Classic. 8 out of 10. Tell me what you all thought.